morning, the stock of the real wheel. Have you used the real wheel? Yep. Uh, this mm -hmm. is the largest online luxury consignment marketplace. Has dropped 18 percent since CNBC, uh, since a CNBC investigation into the company's authentic uh, authentication process uh, aired just two days ago. Our story, the real question, revealed how copywriters under strict quotas are authenticating many items, leading to fakes on the site. And that's despite the company's CEO Julie Wainwright saying there are no fakes being sold. And Authentication is handled by a team of experts. But in an email sent to customers of The Real Real after our story aired, Wainwright said, quote, we strive for perfection, but may not be perfect every single time. Uh, she went on to defend the authentication process and insisted there is no other resale company doing more to fight counterfeiting. It's a classic so. case of growth at all costs. Um, these copywriters had quotas in yep. terms of the number of products per day they had to authenticate, and it was getting to the point where the volume was just too much. So they would just give a pass on, on a lot of goods. Uh, and hard to authenticate some of this stuff as well, by the way. I would imagine, so particularly if you don't have training, which is for, the, there are teams of authenticators, and then there are the copywriters. The copywriters are the people who write the blurbs about each item. Right. They're not necessarily specially trained to authenticate anything. So for them, right. with an amateur eye to authenticate, is a very difficult I task. I was in Detroit years ago, uh, Dan Gilbert's, um, not the exchange, what is it? The, he's got the exchange for sneakers that, mm -hmm. he, that he runs. And they have people, they have to smell the shoes, look in the shoes to make sure that they're all you know, real or not. It didn't seem like it was the easiest thing to figure out. Just looking, because no, I was at looking all. at a fake, there a real. There are some really good fakes yes, out there some really these good days. Fakes. What do you, what's uh, no, down on Canal Street, there are a lot of good fakes, too, by the way. I, I mean, I don't want to say, but bottom line, does it really matter? I mean, you know how you can tell some of the really good fakes from the, the, from the real thing? It's the number of stitches yeah. per, right. per inch. Do, do you need those extra? I mean, does it really make it that much? Does, I mean, I don't want to say you should be satisfied with a fake, but I, I can't. But are you going to pay? No, I'm not going to pay the for the amount? luxury one. Right. I'm not going to get the luxury one. Oh, you're just going to get the fake straight no, out. You go just straight to the fakes. do it. No, I'm not going to go straight to the fact I'm not going to get either. Um, I certainly don't know what a $3,000 bottle of wine tastes like. Do you? No. I'm, uh, any, you know, is there any universe? I'm good with two buck chucks. So, you know. <laughs>